we are heading over to McCoy's. I'm gonna go get some Rust Oleum oil based paints uh, for the 66. I did want to paint the truck in black, but I don't want to go all out and paint it gloss black since the truck um, doesn't have any type of body filler at the moment, it's just bare metal. So you can see all the dents that it has, and by throwing gloss, it's just gonna make it worse. Alright, so we're here at McCoy's, so let's get down and check out the paints. Remember those fenders? Here's a whole garden, if I need to. I want to paint the whole truck. These are all glass plants. They also have some over here on this side, some farm and implement paint by Glidden. I've used this particular one, the bar ox, to paint uh, the trailer. Just mixing up the paint. Text was another paint that I was experimenting with. I wanted to see what it was about. It says extremely durable. It says alkyd enamel also. So this you can mix your own color. I did try this one actually. Uh, I left it a few days to dry. Uh, the only thing is you can still scratch the paint off. So I don't know if I should try adding some uh, enamel hardener or maybe a clear coat over this base. Um, but we'll experiment with that later. So after thinking about it, I'm also taking the gloss black. I'm gonna shake this in the paint uh, shaker, and we're all, we're gonna try all three of them: the flat, the semi, and the gloss. Yeah, just like that. Alright, so we have gloss black, flat black, and semi gloss black. See how tough this thing is. Mm. Pressure. Palm right there. Well, look, let's let's try to do a the work for a thumbnail right here. Just put it behind it with get behind it with your mask. On. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and try all three cans. Uh, I'm going to reduce this the same way that I reduced the rust 2 to 1 with acetone. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and try them out on these. These are ceramic, right? Ceramic? ceramic. Tiles. Please. These are just floor tiles. Uh, I'm not care of the adhesion. I just want to see the dried finished top coat. So I'm going to spray one color on each, which is flat, semi, and gloss black. Uh, so yeah, like I said, I'm gonna spray. Um, I'm gonna reduce them two to one. So I'm gonna do like since it's just a little panel, I'm gonna do two ounces of paint plus one ounce of acetone. That's gonna be for all three, and we're gonna spray them with the cobalt. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. 
Oh, he's paying tiles. It ain't gonna stay. Well. <laughs> Once you step on it, it's gonna whatever. Now totally, they, they don't understand rustoleum. Yeah, now now they can't. You don't understand rustoleum like I do, Joe. <laughs> 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 all right, dude. All right. I need to raise the pressure. Alright, so again, uh, this is two ounces of paint with one ounce of acetone, and this is going to be gloss black. Two ounces paint, one ounce acetone. This is going to be the semi gloss. All right guys, so this is gonna be the third and final coat for the semi-gloss. After that, we'll just let it sit for a few minutes and we'll come back and show you all the results. Alright, and here are the three colors. Uh, we'll start with the Rustoleum Flat Black. So, this is three coats. And jumping over here to the Semi Gloss Black. This one has just a little bit of shine. You can't see the reflectiveness of it, but it's still some type of um, glossy to it. It's not as dry as the first one. And the third one is Gloss Black. So this one, yeah, you can see the reflection. There's all three. Fucker is back. You here to mess up some paint jobs or what? All right, another huge thanks to Joe coming in clutch with these gloves. Check it out. And also yesterday, uh, he came over and dropped off this. Boom. Check it out. Joe's Buzz Barn. This is an awesome cap. It's embroidered. So Joe had these custom made uh, for his channel. So I'll leave his link in the description so you guys can go check them out. And I guess that's going to be it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll come back uh, tomorrow hopefully with another video. Maybe painting the 66. And um, you know, leave some comments.